You know what? We'll leave it to Twitch chat. There we go. You guys vote. If you care about what I play, go ahead and take a vote. If you don't, go ahead and just enjoy. That is a little strange. Alright, this is creepy. Trigger warning, guys. If you're worried about getting creeped out, not look at this. Spider thing is kind of creepy. It's so gross, man. Like, I think it's children for me. Did I die? I got hit by something. Two votes for normals, three votes for Zelda, four votes for scones. All right, scones it is, guys. We're gonna be making some scones in queue. Well, in the queue that doesn't exist because uh, ranked is down. Hmm. We did it. We saved the day, Q Tree. Hog Champ. But we don't actually save him, huh? Alright, it's a good time to break. Alright, it's scone time. Let's see. We're here. We're ready to come back online. That's right. Flying up here. All right, cooking time. Let's go. Gonna have to remove our green screen probably. So here's the recipe. Let's find it out. Scones. That's the link. <laughs> Sorry, Democrat. <sighs> okay. So we're supposed to preheat the oven to 400 degrees. I don't know if I, do I, do I preheat it now? And it says a stand mixer. What's a stand mixer? Um, I'll Google it, okay. And a mixer. I have one of those. Matter what? Did it? I don't think so. All right, let's go. Like one of these. Sorry for your ears. <laughs> um. All right, this camera is maybe a little too. Close. All right, this, this should be funny. Or, this should be fine, okay? 
All right, so it's going to be really, really close so you can see exactly what's going on, all right? All right, so preheat oven to 400 degrees. Let's go ahead and start with that. Actually, let's not preheat it yet. I, I think this is going to take me longer than it's supposed to. So let's, let's preheat it once it's closer to being done. All right, we need flour, sugar, Flour, sugar, baking powder, salt, and zest. All right, so we're gonna start with the flour. We need two cups of flour, so let's go ahead and get that. All right, that's one cup. In there, nice and good. You don't want it. You don't want it to miss anything. All right, second cup. Right there, all the flour in there. Oh, so good. This is looking pretty delicious so far. Don't hold your breaths. All right, cool, cool. Got the flour. Sugar next. We're gonna need. Half a cup of sugar. Actually, let's have them. Let's zoom out a bit since we're not actually mixing anything yet. This way you can see my pretty face. You can't see my face at all. <laughs> uh. Dude, I love Sith. Here, we got this, guys. Don't worry. There it is. <laughs> Alright, I think it's hopeless. Uh. Yeah, for sure, Democrats. Absolutely. Alright, have a go for sugar. Let's go. I don't actually have half a cup of sugar, or I can't find my half cup, but guys, <laughs> you like the sticker. <laughs> so instead of having half of a cup, look what we got. One half, one quarter of a cup, and if you just put two one quarters, it equals a half. And that's how fractions can really help you in the real world. I mean, simple mathematical application. Check it out, guys. Go to class, learn your math and uh, make good food. <laughs> yeah, this this um, this this mixer is an Apple mixer. It's wireless. I had to get an adapter to plug it into the wall. All right, <laughs> let's see. <laughs> All right, what's next? Baking powder. One tablespoon of baking powder. I'm having a problem. I thought, I thought, <laughs> I thought baking powder was baking soda, but apparently they're different. I may not have any baking powder. Um, here, let me figure this out. Price is averted, we got it. Baking powder, right there. Filled. Filled everywhere. All hope is lost. Oh, I gotta clean this up. Alright, 
you know what? We're not gonna clean up yet. All right, excellent. Yeah, I heard about that gray man. <laughs> That's hilarious. I think I saw that on Reddit. All right, we need salt. We're gonna get half a teaspoon of salt, guys. So this is actually a full teaspoon of salt, but we're only gonna fill it up halfway, because again, fractions. Getting close, an orange zest. All right, so we need, what is this? We need a tablespoon of grated orange zest. So I've never done this before, so let's do it together. That was weird. Did that say? A tablespoon. Okay. Alright, so get an orange, make sure you wash it, and uh, and then we're supposed to grate the orange peel or something? What the heck? Um, okay, this can't be right. I feel pretty silly. <laughs> um. I'm not crazy, right? That's what it means, orange zest. <laughs> For the scone. <laughs> Somebody please confirm that this is not crazy. Okay, thanks, Grandpa. All right, but we don't want the bitter stuff. We just want the outside stuff. All right. I don't actually know how much a tablespoon. Oh, we don't have very much at all. Just do the whole thing. Only the outside of the orange peel. We get white stuff. Our scones will taste a little interesting. Alright, that's plenty of it. Alright, cool. Now the cool thing about this is that we've actually peeled most of the orange before, so now we can just eat it. <laughs> Why is my orange pink inside? What the heck? The weirdest co- Ugh, this is disgusting. Alright, do not do that, guys. That is... That's no good. Alright. Oh, I think we got some good orange zest here. Let's check it out. Alright. <laughs> check it out. 
Homemade orange desk. Block the light. It might actually be a great fruit, Grandpa. Wait. Let's check. I, uh, <laughs> I think you guys might be onto something. <laughs> Alright, you know, we all make mistakes, okay? It looks like an old... <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> Alright, I'm deprived of sleep. You know what? It. Oh no, never mind. That's gonna make a mess. We'll eat it later. <laughs> mm. It actually is a very good tasting grapefruit. Anyway, let's get that tablespoon of grapefruit zest into the uh Oh okay, maybe it is a blood orange. It tasted really sweet. Grapefruit. So, get a tablespoon, put it in there, and get rid of this. Alright, too much? Well, whatever. <laughs> Hopefully it'll taste okay. Alright, no problem, no problem. Right, what next? Alright, add the... Add the butter, mix it. All right, the butter is butter. Half a cup, half a cup into very small cubes. Okay, so we got that. cam we ask what are you talking about this is the this is beauty all right this says to cut it up into very small cubes all right so I'm just gonna go starting by vertical slices it up later. Alright. Just like so. You want it to be cold. Something. I read that some. Oh dear. How small is very small cute? Is that good? Cut it this way. This seems unnecessary. Seems silly. There's no way I need to do that, right? Somebody chime in. Butter. Use a towel instead of my clothes? That makes no sense. I'm gonna wash my clothes tomorrow, but I'm not gonna wash my towels tomorrow. Yeah, this seems so stupid. <laughs> this recipe is making this up, right? It's trolling me, huh? I'm we're, we're doing what it says. It said it wanted a bunch of small cubes, huh? I don't need the butter cube. Oh, I'm almost already done. Oh. 
do it anyway. Okay. Just about done. Oh, that was almost my finger. All right, I think we're good on the butter. It only looks so white because because there's a lot of glare from the, the lights and the webcam. I could fix that. All right, I think that's good. What does it say to do next? Mix ingredients until fine crumbs form. I think you guys a front row seat show. See that? We're gonna mix it until fine crumbs. Right? Oh, it doesn't quite reach. <sighs> It doesn't quite reach, so we have the mixer balanced on the edge. It's hanging over the table, but the center of mass is still over the table. So it should still be good. DK64, I'm the master chef. What are you talking about? Alright. Small. Fine crumbs. This may be loud, I don't know. So this is not fine crumbs, we gotta turn it up a notch. It just looks like flour, we're gonna turn it up even more. <laughs> oh, that was too high! Alright, this is not making fine crumbs, this just looks like powder. Did I forget an ingredient? I think this is as high as it can go, but I'm not really sure. All right, I don't want to get flour, boy. That's you know that's got to be hopefully good enough. Um, no, no, we haven't. All right, with the mixer on low speed, that's the second step. With the mixer on low speed, add the egg and heavy cream in a slow stream. Okay. Alright, so let's put in the one large egg and then the cream. So we got the egg right here. It looks pretty good, pretty large, kind of like me. The... Not very good at cracking eggs, but you know, how hard can it be? My philosophy is either the eggshell that if I put an eggshell accidentally into my food, it's either big enough to get out or small enough that I won't notice. Alright, and then we need a half a cup cold heavy cream. Then we're gonna slowly put it in. Alright.
We got some heavy cream over here. Let's open it up, measure out, have a cup. Oh, exactly, shield, I like that. All right, so let's measure out half a cup. Oh wow, this really is heavy. And slowly into this, slow into that, all right? Like that. <laughs> uh <laughs> what the heck? Add the blueberries. Alright. <laughs> Come on, guys. They're gonna be great. Uh, one cup of blueberries. Actually, it looks like a cup. Um, okay. Fallen. Music got spooked. Actually, almost perfectly the right amount. You can eat some of the extra ones. That's a good point, Moon Deer. <laughs> Everything. I mean, let me just. Who NA is up? Sweet. I'll start. <laughs> All right. Make sure. Add the blueberries and mix until they're incorporated into the dough. Plop them all in and get mixing. Let's turn it up, why not? <laughs> I think I made a mistake. <laughs> Alright, 
What's the next step? We have to get a flower to work surface. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Alright, let's get the cutting board back. <laughs> Wait, turn it on again slowly. Alright, it's on down there. You believe? I'll have it on slowly while I uh, flower my hands and put it on a flowered work surface. Okay. Maybe a little too much flour. That's a, all right. That's a lot of flour. Um. <laughs> oops. Here we'll put the extra flour off to the side. We can use that. Use that later. Put that over there just in case. Flour this hand too. All right, great. Now let's get the dough. Oh, it's actually looking a lot better. This is a good idea. Oh, nice. All right, it's getting better, guys. Don't worry, don't worry. Look, I have some of this stuff on my fingers. It tastes really good. Hmm. I think it tastes good. It kind of tastes like orange peel. <laughs> um. Here, this is going to be a longer process. Need to remove it. Wait, it's really sticky looking. Um, I think I have to use a spatula. My dough is really wet. All right, we got this. No problem. Just take it out. This looks good, huh? Hmm. Take out all of it. Good. Hmm. Looking pretty yummy so far, guys. I think this is gonna, these are going to turn out great. Hmm. Yeah, 
Yeah, honestly, this tastes like orange peels. Pull into a rectangle about one inch thick. Cut into triangles. So confusing. Roll, how do you roll something into a rectangle? You roll things into like cylinders and stuff. Thick, I wonder. That looks about right. Cut triangles into <laughs> them. <laughs> this is gonna taste really good, trust me. My hands are so gross. Wait, how do I cut them in a triangle? You know what? Uh, <laughs> I think this is good enough, probably. Orange peel liquid. It says cut them into triangles. Wait, this is way too thin? Wait, it looks thinner than it is. Maybe like half an inch, I guess. Pull it in half. Wait. This doesn't exactly fold. <laughs> Maybe there needed to be a little bit more flour on the bottom. Um. Oh dear. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> what the? I, I think mistakes were made. Nice and let's cut it into triangle. So that's a good triangle. Uh, cut it right here. <laughs> <laughs> All right, this needs some more flowers. I'm gonna do some nice custom hand washing right here. And mix it by hand through love and care. Sometimes things need a little bit more flour, so give it some love. And at this point, only a few options, that so let's just get, I'm gonna get whatever we're cooking on, we're just gonna put it on, but sometimes you just gotta cut your losses, alright? We're making cookies now, alright? <laughs> this is all stuff.
bacon on stone. Right, guys there are no mistakes there are only happy little accidents all right let's go here do i need to spray it um we're making cookies now that's all that's happening We just this just needs to end all right so we got a nice looking one over there that looks good Let's grab another one put that one over here all right, good excellent There we go. This is going to be really good, guys. Don't worry. It's not ruined. It's just uh, breaking the meta right here. Over. Let's go over over here. You're going to go right. It's the last slot. Right here, all nice. Good. Excellent. Looking really nice. Let's just make him look a little... Yeah, let's put a little flower on him. Make a little... Make him look a little nice right here. Smooth him out. Oh, yeah. Looking really good. Yeah, we're making progress with this idea, guys. You gotta think outside the box sometimes. Not all scones look the same. When you say scone, someone else might think of something else. Yeah, these are almost triangle. Excellent. Touching. All right. We're good. All right, I think everything's just about set up for these. Actually, that's not true. There's still more to the recipe. All right, guys. <laughs> All right, the final instruction, make for 18 to 20 minutes. After, um, hold on, I'll brush with heavy cream, okay? Let's go. So we got a nice basting brush. Um, there we go. Like I said, I'm gonna brush it with the cream. Nice and easy. That looks really good now. How about this, guys? No negative comments to say now, do you? I guess I proved all of you doubters wrong. Look how beautiful these look. 
anybody wants one, I'll give you my recipe. And you can use this VOD for, uh, for tips on how to make the best scones in the world. Yeah, this is looking really nice. Look at the sides too, really nice. Goons. Good. Alright, yeah, I think we're good. Now let's sprinkle it with sugar and then we should be done. Nice sugar sprinkling on the top. It's gonna be nice, I think, on this. My want to eat. <laughs> right. Yeah, this is looking good. Let's put this in the oven. I think these are a success. We'll find it out. Check them out. So good looking. I don't want to say I don't want to count my chickens before they're hatched, but I think we have, we have, we have, we have conquered. Alright, you guys voted for the scones. This is what it told me. Recipe. I didn't make this up, guys. It's just really fat milk. It's not actually like whipped cream or anything. Stay down. Stay down. We did it. You guys voted for this. <sighs> Come on, bro. You know it's awesome. Oh. There's too much exposure. It's better. Hey, we're back. We're back. Where's the Zyra cosplay? Uh, we wore it for a while. Did a change out though, it was pretty uncomfortable. Might break it back near the end. <laughs> Alright, is ranked back up? If I relog? Alright, might put it back on the SK. Yeah, we'll put the SKT cosplay near the end. That's what we'll do, I think. Oh, oops. There we go. I don't know what that was. Not tasting good. But, uh, I guess it's probably fine. Hmm. Kind of sticky. Alright, go. 